Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Flat, and welcome to another Gaming Library video. So today's going to be PS4. Um, before we jump into it, as I was pulling all my games out, I realized I forgot some titles in the PS3 video. Um, one would be Dead Island. I did play this some. Uh, I don't think it's that great of a game. Like, to me, I don't like it that you, I mean, you could play it single, but like, I don't know, I guess just in my own experience, all I've done is play it co-op with friends online in it. I don't know, it just never sat well with me. And then otherwise, I got Heavy Rain, and this is a, I did it with the Skyrim video, or the Skyrim a Skyrim game and I'll show that again um, like yeah I just like inverted the cover because you, you can see PS3 um, yeah Heavy Rain good game uh, I'll get to another Britannic Dream game in a bit um, yeah Quitanic Dream or however they pronounce it Quitanic Quatnic I don't know they make great games. Because so I've played Beyond Two Souls on PS4, and it's a really good game. So is uh, Detroit. So, I'm not sure really where to start. I try to organize everything by developer or series. So, let's just do these ones out of the way first. So first is WW2K15, with Cena on the cover, and then 16. With Stone Cold, 17 with Brock Lesnar, 18 with Rollins, and I got the Deluxe Edition because to me, just having RVD in a WWE game again, it was worth spending the extra, I don't remember what it was, 20 bucks, and then 2K19. Um, I know, I... I I know in the PS3 video I said that it seems like all the PS3 wrestling games, they were more or less the same. Um, and I felt like that, I, I think now that I think about it, I felt the same way about uh, 15 and 16, 15, 16, and 17. Uh, 18 is when they changed their graphics engine, so... Thank God. <laughs> Everything looks a lot better in 2K18. Um, but yeah, 15 through 15, 16, 17, they felt more or less the same. My career was meh. It felt more like, a, I mean, obviously in 2K19, they got the My Career, and it feels like a road to WrestleMania, which is what they did in. Uh, 2009 to 13, I think, is when they did the Road to, Road to Mania. Then otherwise, this whole, like, the 2K15, 16, 17, my career, it just feels like, well, even then, even 18 is my career. They just feel like, um, what am I trying to think of? It feels, not really a simulator, but it kind of does, in a way, or it makes it feel like... It almost kind of feels like all season mode from the older wrestling games from SmackDown vs. Raw. Like, it's just, it's kind of boring and it's like, oh, you gotta go through all these matches and there's barely, like, any story in them whatsoever and it's just really annoying, so. There's that. Uh, let's do these two. Destiny. I did have this originally on PS3. Um... I did, I don't know if I owned the DLC, maybe I owned The Dark Below, I don't remember. I did have this, again, originally on PS3, the beta was god awful <laughs> on PS3. Um, like, you couldn't connect to anything, it was just not a good time, I remember that distinctly. Um, and then, like, I finished the main campaign where you destroy the Vax on Mars, I'm surprised I remember that much because it's been so long since I played Destiny. Um, and 
I had nobody to play with, so I just kind of got rid of it after a while, and then I got my PS4, and people were still playing it, and I'm like, hey, whatever. So, there. And then, Destiny 2, which is the Collector's Edition, and I did an unboxing of the Collector's Edition, which you can watch here, I think it is, I don't know. Still haven't figured that out, where the annotations go. Uh, let's do Black Ops 3. This is the enlisted edition, I think it was called. It's all a steel book and it's cool. Um, yeah, I don't play the physical copy anymore. Um, just because it takes so long to install. Okay, so. For those who still buy everything digital on the for Black Ops 3, I commend you for that. I don't know if it's the same for Infinite Warfare, World War II, or um, what's the latest one? Four. But like, at least on Black Ops 3 on physical copy, um, you put the disc in and it installs everything fine. And then once you actually start the game, it has to install data or whatever, and it's like. It takes so long. It installs campaign first, then multiplayer. So basically all you can do from the get-go is play zombies or arcade. And it's, or I don't think you can even play arcade. That ops arcade. Um, but it's so annoying. But then luckily, because when I tried to reinstall 3, I don't remember even what 4. I tried to reinstall it. And um, Uh, at one point I was like right in the middle of a match and then it was it went kaput and it said it was corrupted I'm like okay um, and then around this time too is when I was doing my games at random and I got to Black Ops 3 and all I could do was play zombies and it was just furiating the hell on me and then so then I instead uh, downloaded it because it was free for one month um, I think actually around this time last year or so, for E3, uh, Black Ops 3 was free for PS Plus. Uh, so I just downloaded the digital version, and it's so much better and easier. You don't have to do the further installation like I was talking about from disc, so I'm happy about that. Alright, anyway, Skyrim, PS4, I was elated when it was announced that they remastered it. Uh, I did do my challenge roulette here on PS4, my Skyrim roulette challenge. Uh, I know I excuse me, I originally tried to do it on PC. I think, I don't know, I don't remember what happened to that, but I did it on PS4 and it's just easier. Um, so if you haven't told already, I like I said, I separated everything to 2K, Bungie, Call of Duty, and we're on Bethesda, so now it is Fallout 76. Say what you will about 76. Uh, I'll put a annotation for the uh, my thoughts on video on the uh, trailer. disc art and stuff for 76 um I I don't know I guess just to talk quick just because I know I have a lot of games to go through um I'm already at nine minutes uh, so I feel like 76 it wasn't I mean it's not a bad game by any sense I just feel like it was more of an experiment and it was like if, if it was something like, hey, I modded Fallout 4, so it's multiplayer, it'd be like, and then you made it its own standalone game, it's like, oh, that's cool. But I feel like this might have been, I feel like 76 was like too much, it was a little too ambitious for a project like this, where it's their first ever fully multiplayer game. Um, or no, even then, like, I think, what I, I don't remember how I phrased it uh, before to some friends, it's like, like, if it was, like, a multiplayer mod for Fallout 4, that's one thing. And it would be cool. It's like, hey, look, check out this thing I did. But then they went full of steam ahead and do a, did a full multiplayer, and it's, like, not great. 
um, that launched initially, as we all know. So, I'll just leave it at that. All right, next is Uncharted Collection. I'm starting to run out of room over here on this side. I got Uncharted 4, which I still have yet to play um, on my Let's Play. <laughs> I finished, I did the collection. Uh, I'll put a annotation for that as well in here, or this corner, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I did the collection. I still gotta play 4 or stream it. And then the same thing with Lost Legacy. I still gotta stream that, so. Um, and last, but certainly not least, for the organized games. <laughs> GTA 5, obviously. And Red Dead Redemption 2. This is the Ultimate. Yep. Ultimate Edition. And yes, it's two discs. <laughs> Um, I mentioned it in the PS3 video, which, as of this recording, I recorded it yesterday. Um, it said a big, not a big update, like a 3 gigabyte update came out for the game. And, and Red Dead Online is now actually playable. <laughs> it's actually playable now. Um, I did some free roam missions and like it actually works I'm just like oh my god this game actually is playable now online so I'm happy about that alright next out of just the random pile No Man's Sky and again I just inverted the cover and it looks pretty nice um, like this I mean the heavy rain and I did invert the uncharted ones for a while, and then I got kind of tired of it. And then next is Battlefield 1, which I played quite a bit in its heyday. Kind of achieved to say both, but whatever. South Park, Fractured Butthole, and a Stick of Truth. Uh, and I did Let's Plays on those, which you can watch up here in the corners. Whichever one it is, I don't know. <laughs> Injustice 2, which I did play through. Um, I own majority of the DLC. I don't know why I stopped <laughs> in the middle of saying that. Um, the story was good, actually. Um, yeah, and I own all the DLC, majority of them. I, I just don't own the not DCEU canon. The non DC canon, so like. The Mortal Com the obligatory Mortal Kombat characters and TMNT, I don't own them, so. Alright, next. Dying Light. I have never actually played this. I bought I wanted to get it like when it first came out. Um only 25 minimum gigabytes, really? Um Yeah, I initially wanted to get Dying Light when it first came out, and then and then I started to hear mixed things about it, and then I guess still now it's it's considered good, but I still have like mixed feelings towards it, but at some point I'll play it. I don't know if I really will. Uh, Spyro, Reignited Trilogy, I got this for Christmas uh, this past year. I did play... We'll see, I did play some... I did play a good amount of the first one. Um, I don't know, I just got bored with it, and I just quit playing it. Granted, I do have Year of the Dragon on PS1 still, if you watch that video. Uh, yeah, I forgot what this was just by looking at the inverted cover. If anybody knows, before I say it. Last of Us! And I, I really want Last of Us 2 right now. <laughs> um, yes, I have played Last of Us. I want... I want to replay it, and I did not, I have not yet played Left Behind, um, I don't know why, I guess just because I really just wanted to play the main game, and I didn't know where in the timeline Left Behind was, 
so I didn't ever play it, but I do want to replay Last of Us. Um, Spider-Man, like I said, this is the one good inverted uh, cover, because it's actually useful and like it still says Spider-Man. Focus on the game, not me. God dang it. Because it says it on the spine, regardless, so. Uh, Deadpool. Oh, quick story. Where'd it go? Dying Light. So, <laughs> Deadpool and uh, Dying Light, they kind of fall in the same boat um, for the same story. Like, every year I get 20% um, off a pre-owned game for my birthday from GameStop. And like I said, I just wanted to get Dying Light, so I ended up using my birthday coupon for whatever year I bought it. And then the same thing with Deadpool. I'm just like, I don't know what to use my coupon on. And then I just saw Deadpool and saw it was 17 bucks. I'm like, whatever, I'll use my birthday coupon on this. Um, it's only six gigabytes? Well, yeah, it came out on PS3 and 360 first. Um, I have not played Deadpool yet. Oh, I'm taking a moment to realize what the this cover is. It's a freaking pancake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I haven't played it yet. I I thought about playing it one night. I put it in the my PS4 and it just like immediately installed. There was no software update or anything whatsoever. I'm like, whoa, that's awesome. So. There was DLC for Deadpool? I'm just finding this out. That's awesome. Um, Detroit, Become Human, which I still have yet to finish my current Let's Play. I did play it on my own kind of personal run. I did invert the cover for a while because it has uh, Kara, Marcus, and um, Connor. I did. It, yeah, I, I, I invented it, and then I got tired of looking at it, so I just did it. Um, to move there was something I was going to say about Detroit when I was talking about Heavy Rain. I don't remember. But last but certainly not least, Overwatch. And all my camera's blinking that I'm going on for 17 minutes. I'm sorry! Um, yeah, Overwatch. Play, put a lot of hours into it. I haven't played it lately. Uh, last I played was maybe... I don't want to say the Christmas, like the Yeti hunting, I want to say. I don't know. I think that might have been it. It was maybe the Yeti hunting, so, for the Christmas. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like in this video and stay tuned with more videos like this and as well as future content. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.